to change a engine coolant temperature sensor number two that's the sensor that's on the bottom of the Honda Civic um, first thing I did was put jacks the safe the more safe the better um, same thing with both sides here make sure you got you know safety safety first um, the sen first thing you do before you start working on a sensor is you have to take off this plastic push button uh, plate they have these little tabs in there um, some people call for you to pick up a special tool from a hardware store all I used was a uh, flathead screwdriver right here of some sort and also a pair of needle nose pliers kind of help pry them out once you take off the top you can pull the rest, the bottom lip out and they just pop right out and they should go right back in perfectly fine. Um, as soon as you get up under the vehicle, you have to be very careful um, with what you're working with down here. First, you have to drain your plug, your drain plug right here, butterfly. Um, there's gonna be a lot of fluid in there. If you forget this step, you'll make a mess. Um, do a very nasty job. Got to be very careful with this. If you look right over to the left, right here, the plug was right in here. And you got to be careful with this depending on how corroded it is. Mine, I got lucky. It's not too bad. Um, just disconnect it right here. Um, right on the inside of this. You'll need a 17 millimeter uh, long socket. And what you're going to have to do with your socket here is kind of angle it from the top under the hood. Reach down. It'll fit in. It would help if you had extra hand. And I propped it up in here. Be careful of your hoses and all. I'm trying to do this while I'm holding the phone. And once you get it in, you'll go ahead and try to unratchet it loose from the top under your hood. All right. So as you see, mine is already disconnected. Sprayed a little bit of oil on it, but before I try to uh, disconnect it because depending on, like I said, how rusty your radiator or the connection is, you could cause a crack to your radiator. You definitely don't want to do it. Or break off that piece, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new piece in and then tighten it down. reach in from the top tighten the wrench from the top like I showed you before clip this in and I'll show you the complete results while piecing this back together on the second video